The landmark for India's space sector, the Indian Space Research Organization, has launched its first privately built rocket. The rocket named Vikram S lifted off at about 11.30 a.m. local time from the southern India's Satish Dhawan Space Center. Now, Vikram S soared to an altitude of about 81 kilometers to Earth's upper atmosphere before splashing down in less than five minutes. The launch marks the foray of private sector into the country's space industry, which was opened to private players by the central government in 2020. The Vikram S was in fact developed by a four-year-old Indian startup called Skyroot Aerospace. In the mission titled Prarambh or The Beginning, it carried three payloads built by local startups and Space Tech India. The rocket is said to be one of the world's first few all-composite rockets that has a 3D printed solid thrusters for spin stability of the launch vehicle. The launch also demonstrated flight proving of avionic systems in the Vikram series, including telemetry, global positioning systems, data acquisition and power systems. These, of course, were all demonstrated and the flight was said to be successful. And we earlier spoke with Pawan Goenka, who is the chairman of the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre, a government-run entity that supports and promotes private sector firms and also startups in Indian space sector. Listen in to what he had to say. Joining us on Beyond World is one Dr. Pawan Goenka, chairman in space. Sir, thank you for your time. Sir, firstly, tell us uh, what went into the making of this launch because two years after space reforms and we have a rocket actually taken to the skies. Well, of course, it's a very good pace, I would say. Uh, and uh, this is, first of all, I would say the uh, the risk taking the leap of faith uh, that Skyroot had demonstrated uh, by starting to work on this rocket immediately after the reforms were announced by the by the government of India. And they worked at a very good pace. Uh, two years, those who know uh, rocket science know that two years, even for a small rocket, is very fast. Uh, and for them to come up to this level uh, is, is something that is quite amazing. But I would say that none of this would have been possible if ISRO support had not been given to them without any constraints. Uh, and ISRO came forward and made all their facilities available, all the expertise available, and then all the reviews done by technical experts to ensure uh, that the rocket is ready to go up. Uh, because as you know, one thing that's going wrong, the whole thing can collapse. And as you have seen today, that it was an absolutely smooth, flawless launch. Uh, and that's what uh, went into it. So, effort by Skyroot, most important, support by ISRO, and facilita facilita facilitation by Inispace. Sir, um, you told us that there's about 150 companies that have approached Inspace, all of them from across the space sector. So, what is being done to facilitate them? Please give us some insights into the numbers and what we can expect in coming months. So, I think uh, most important thing is the policy reform uh, that is happening and the new uh, space policy that is just around the corner. Uh, we have already started applying the, the policy to the, the events that are happening right now. For example, we applied the policy to this launch today. Uh, so that's the most important thing that is the enabler uh, for making the space activity in the private sector happen in India. At the same time, uh, we are changing the FDI policy to allow investment because investments are very important. Uh, ISRO is opening its doors uh, and, and again that's the biggest enabler the private sector has. All of these things combined together and the enthusiasm that uh, the private sector has about the space and the encouragement that constantly keeps coming up uh, from the highest office of India, the Prime Minister of India, uh, is everything coming together is making it happen. And I would think that uh, uh, when I uh, came into this role uh, just about a year ago, I never thought that in one year uh, Indian space sector in the private industry would make so much progress. And today to see uh, 150 proposals, to see all the MOUs, to see all the approvals, to see all the launches that are happening uh, is just something am amazing. So in terms of numbers and investments, how did you see the growth in the last one to two years? Well, the, the growth primarily is happening in the past one year. Uh, so the number of startups have almost tripled uh, from what it was uh, say two years ago to what it is today. Uh, the investment that has come in, uh, total about $110 million has come in in this calendar year, which is more than cumulative investment that has happened in the space sector. And I think every uh, four or five weeks now I'm hearing uh, a new investment happening. And most important thing is that success of the launch today Day, uh, is going to make investors even more eager to invest in the space sector because nobody wants to miss the bus. Uh, and, and, and therefore, uh, therefore, I think the investment coming in, the startups seeing the encouragement because success breeds success. And this one success will then lead to more and more and more people getting interested. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.